Hi everyone, welcome to School of Scarlet. Today I am coming to you with another intuitive message around simple living. So today's message is coming after my experience with Hurricane Barrel. I have just experienced Hurricane Barrel come through here at the Texas coast and we have been out of power and electricity now for a few days and we anticipate to have power and electricity out until Monday, which would be a week without power and electricity here. So I don't have internet, I don't have any way to recharge my phone, any way to do any of these things. Um, so that is my experience right now. Now living on the Texas coast, I have been through this before. And not just that, I have had experiences of really living off the grid. So I'm going to share that with you. And I have also had very much an experience of kind of this primitive camping and just different experiences that I like to immerse myself in. But the call today is to return to simple living. So many people are experiencing things where they're seeing everybody on their screens all of the time and maybe people being rude and just tons of traffic. It's feeling like very, very tight, much more, um, is going on and it's feeling like a city environment pretty much everywhere and so what i'm coming to share with you today is that there is simple ways of living still today that you can connect with so if you're a being a person that is really yearning for searching for that kind of simple life i'm here to share my experience with you and encourage you to continue to seek out that for yourself you don't have to stay wherever you are at you can move you can find anywhere that feels better to you. So the message today around simple living really just reflects back to me everything that I'm experiencing with the hurricane. Right now, even though I don't have internet, don't have power or electricity or any way to recharge, I'm creating and making more videos now and I'm more inspired now than I was when I had electricity and power. Why is that? Well, because I'm reconnecting more with everything because I'm not connected to the internet or the electricity. So we have to go back to our roots. So what we have done for centuries and most of human evolution is really to walk, to be out in nature, connect with animals, with nature, with food, and all of these things. So while I haven't had electricity and power, I have been doing a lot around my house. I've been picking up sticks and just cleaning up the property after Hurricane Barrel. I've also been collecting and picking all the fruits and things that have, you know, fallen from the trees. And you can go check out my um, other channel, Scarlet's Intuitive Life, where I share all of that stuff. But I'm creating things by going out in nature and just scavenging. Um, I don't have right now power, you know, to turn on my range or stove. So we're working with a camp stove. We're working with fireplace. We're not fireplace, fire pit. So we're going back to basics and it's really reconnecting us. You know, my husband and I can really slow down and spend time to do these things. We're spending time in nature. We're getting inspired by nature, which is inspiring a lot of these videos that I'm making. So I encourage you today to reconnect with nature, to get out there and reconnect with it. You know, humans for the longest times have been used to doing pilgrimages and things like that. That required people to walk out in nature and go back to their roots, experience things that they had experienced before. So this is a call to go back home, to experience those things of the much simpler life. Cooking, creating things in your home. Think back to your childhood or maybe even your grandparents' home, what that felt like, what that was like. Many people are in this kind of competitive thing of really having all this luxurious kind of items. And really that's kind of what we see all over social media is this luxurious life and the call for that. But there are so many other things that so many people really yearn for. And some of us do yearn for a more simpler life. And so if you're one of these people that's yearning for a more simpler life, there's no shame in shying away from anything like that. You can seek out things of all kinds of natures. So if you experience and you like a cozy kitchen, a nice cozy living room, it doesn't have to be like the gray white living rooms that we see everywhere right now. You can make it your own, make your home your own, make it feel how you like it to feel. Go to places that make you feel the way you would like to feel. Like I used to take walks as a child. That's one of the reasons I think I liked walking in nature so much. So I'm reconnecting with that inner child side of me that brings that out. Now animals, reconnecting with animals. Animals are the funniest of beings and they're so cute and also they uplift you just by watching them. So I encourage you to go spend time with animals. We have forgotten how to be with animals 
and I'm an animal lover. I've always had tons of pets and I have basically a farm. So I have lots of animals that I connect with, but we have forgotten and I've noticed that people don't seem to connect with animals. They seem to have lost this connection and really they don't understand animals and it's time to reconnect with them, spend some time with them. If you don't have time or an animal to, well not time, but if you don't have an animal to connect with, if there are squirrels where you live, go by a park bench and sit there and watch these squirrels play. You'll reconnect with them and you'll begin to feel some of this back online. So this is really a call to really connect with those things that bring us together. When we don't have a phone, when we don't have technology that we're tied to and all of these things and distractions that are happening, we connect with those around us. We sit around a fire, we sit around the living room. We don't have anything else to do, so we connect. And I noticed this with my daughter. My daughter is a teenager and if any of you have a teenager or have raised a teenager, you know that they have oftentimes spend time in their room, like lots of time in their room. So I have seen her, you know, here and there passing by, she comes out of the kitchen, these sorts of things during the summer. And it's really kind of a chore to get her out of her room. But as soon as the hurricane happened and we had no power electricity or anything, where was she? She was right there in the bedroom with me and everybody else that was home to talk to them and to really help out. And then after that, that evening, I didn't even have to ask her. And she went outside and started picking up all of these sticks and you know everything that was outside that needed to be picked up from the storm. You know, it just was natural to her in that environment. But if the internet was on, if we had electricity, forget it. I would have had to basically drag her out of her room, you know, beg her, you know, this is, you know, this is what we need to do around the house, kind of convince her of this to get her out of her room. And any of you that have teenagers know this, it's such a stark difference when we don't have this connection to electricity. And I'm not saying that we don't need that. We, um, I will certainly use electricity and I have to share these videos with you and how else would I do it without the technology that we have. So it's not about getting rid of that, it's about reconnecting with that simpler side of life and allowing ourselves to be part of that world as well. And not just live in the world of distractions where we're so distracted that we just can't be inspired. It seems like this is happening so slowly, but as soon as we disconnect, like I have had to, um, all of a sudden the inspiration comes on board. We're doing things, we're connecting with others, we're helping others, we're volunteering in the community, we're playing with our dogs, you know, we're playing with our animals, we're really reconnecting to things. And so another thing is a lot of times we think that people in society is just gone so, so cold and people just don't care about each other. And I wanna tell you there are places in this world where people still care and people still connect. Where I live, everyone that drives by, we wave hello. We are very respectful to one another. Anybody that lives next door to each other or in our neighborhood, we've introduced ourselves to everybody. Anytime something happens, we check in on somebody. Um, everybody's tight knit. So there are places in those, this world that that is still the case. So if you're looking for that, there is places. This is just a message to you to kind of radiate to you that what you're seeking, what you're wanting for yourself is out there. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not. The world is not as a stark, dark place like many people are telling you. It's actually a very bright place. This is heaven on earth. And when you connect and when you see all of this, you can shine that light and others can connect and be with that light. So I encourage you today to get out there in nature, go follow any of those desires that you're feeling within of what would make you feel better in your environment. Those are totally just symbols, communication to you of where you should go. Don't ignore that. It is totally possible. Everything and anything is possible. So don't think that there isn't a place for you to connect and live harmoniously how you want peacefully here on this earth. So if you like this message, please give me a thumbs up. Um, a comment like a heart down below, help support this channel, share this message with others. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all.